Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to When People Play. My name is Barry, and today it's episode 16, or the first episode of 2019. Today we have an exciting high-energy icebreaker for you guys, but first, let's roll the intro. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 15 of When People Play. Yes, today I'm reintroducing the Red Solo Cup to a game called Cup Knock. This is a slight variation of basically a, a game that I picked up from Nate Bowen from his activity book called The 100th Monkey. That book with a link uh, to his book is going to be in the comments below. Be sure to check it out. It has tons and tons of a great sequential activities that you can put together for any facilitator or trainer out there. But uh, with the idea of using the Red Solo Cup, this particular prop I love using for different activities. And with this activity, Cup Knock, it's a great high energy game. It's a great way to warm up your group, kind of get people moving again. If you're in a conference center or a workshop and you just came back from a break, it's great to get people moving around and just having fun and just laughing again, getting their blood pumped up before we go into training, or to introduce the day. It's a great networking idea. Uh, there's a couple of questions that you can do about uh, how well people are connected together. The simple premise behind this activity is you ask everybody to come get one red solo cup from the bin, and it doesn't matter if you have eight people or 100 people, this works great for small or large groups. But with everybody having a one singular red solo cup, you're going to ask them to find a partner. Basically, you're going to ask them to take the two open ends of the cup and put them together like this. They do have to hold the cup with one single finger. Um, that one single finger makes it hard for them to hold the cup. Uh, with cups, uh, red solo cups, it's pretty easy when it comes to this part. But there are variations to make it harder. So if you want to see those variations, Again, be sure to check out the link down below in the comments. But basically the idea is that everybody runs around with their fingers on the cup and other people, other teammates try to knock the cups out of hand. It's just a quick high energy activity, get people laughing, uh, getting you know people trying to compete and block and protect their cups to keep them from getting knocked uh, out of place, that kind of thing. But every time you knock, <laughs> Every time you knock somebody's cup loose, just like that, the idea is that you, you and your teammate, you keep a tally point. And then at the end of a minute or two minutes, me as a facilitator or you as a facilitator would just ask, how many are able to knock around six, seven, eight? And you're looking for uh, the n highest number of basically uh, uh, knockdowns that you were able to do within this particular activity. It's quick, it's easy, it's fun. Guys, I hope you enjoy. Thanks for visiting When People Play. We really hope that you enjoy this activity. If you wish to receive the full write-up of this activity, be sure to click on the link down below in the comments, including variations and uh, Nate Fullen's activity book and how you can get that on Amazon. Also, if you wish to receive additional activities as we publish on a weekly basis, be sure to subscribe here. Also, to be sure to ring that bell so that you can get those notifications when we send them out. If you wish to see, uh, see last week's activity, be sure to check that video out here. Again, thanks for visiting When People Play, and until next time, we'll see you later.